Hey guys, uh, Crispin Sanford here uh, with the hashtag KBB uh, mastermind group. Um, wanted to do it out here in the garden today. I thought it'd be a little bit of a change um, for our, from several of the videos I'm doing uh, for, for, for you guys and for some of my other groups. Um, I thought it'd be nice to get out. Um, you can't quite see the mountains as large as I can, uh, obviously because of the lens, but never mind. Uh, at least you get some of the outdoors. Um, so I wanted to talk about a specific point people have brought up uh, in the group, in the, um, the, large, the larger Facebook group for the Knowledge Mastermind um, Blueprint, the Knowledge Business Blueprint. Uh, and it's, should I focus on one business uh, or should I be doing two or, or several, you know, multiple, um, would be the long and short of it, two or more. Uh, and I wanted to address it. Right, so um, what I have found, now I was in business development. I worked for a marketing firm. I got promoted to vice president of uh, business development. Uh, the marketing firm's number one in marketing systems for financial advisors, right? So I know a lot about um, uh, business development and we worked with our clients and we ensured they served multiple interests of their clients. Now they were financial advisors, so they had their focus, right? And um, my argument then, because of my experience, is that uh, you, should, you should have your focus, your, your excellence, your skill, the thing that you're really good at, right? You're finding your superpower, going through the lessons, the initial videos um, of the training, right? And uh, so you're discovering that, you're discovering your skills, but also you have other interests. Uh, and you know some of those are things that you dream of doing, you know, of being your your ideal, what you aspire to do. Um, and so what I do, and what I recommend doing, I have a whole uh, workshop on this, has to do with building true fans, um, and uh, using social media, using groups and activities to do that. But um, what what I recommend is is that you have your skill, your focus, and obviously you're going to be serving people in that area where you have expertise. Um, but also you create groups, interest groups, especially on Facebook, right? You know, I have, um, I do poetry. I've written poetry since I was a teenager. Uh, I have to be, I happen to be different in that I've published my own book. I'm published in England and America. I've, I've won awards for it and I've sold my poems. I've sold prints of them and I've been invited to speak. I spoke at an event at the Bel Air Hotel. So, you know, I had done some work, uh, a certain level of professionalism in uh, in my poetry but i have a poetry group crispin sanford poet and that's really exclusively about poetry posting poetry people express interest in it uh, they join um you know i've got about 140 150 members uh so that's a specific focus group that's a specific interest i have right and in that group i develop my relationships through that special that interest that specialized interest um but also I have an interest in um, administration, right? business administration. Uh, organization is my passion uh, and helping people use organization to expand and grow, fulfill their purposes, become more efficient. So I have a separate group, a Facebook group, uh, that focuses on that. Uh, it's called Administrate Life. And so you can see that even though I have different areas of interest, um, I build a group and build relationships with people who share those interests. And that keeps it relevant. That keeps it personal uh, to the individuals in, in those groups. But I'm still building and deepening our relationship. And they asked me what I do. Uh, I had one friend who's interested in films. Um, I, have a, I worked in the film industry for many years. Uh, I like short films. I'm preparing to make a short film next year. I have another group for that. But her interest in me was through that group. She became a member of that group, we developed interest, but she became a client, one of my first clients, uh, where I did a workshop with her uh, and uh, have been taking her through getting organized, doing better. She got a, a better job in, uh, during uh, our workshop. She uh, thanked me profusely for, for my help uh, and in being able to stand out, she was told by her boss how organized she was. And uh, she took a photo of her work and she sent it to me. It's a real point of pride. Uh, that but you can see that her interest which I developed through a mutual interest in filmmaking and in, in storytelling and writing um, became um, she ended up becoming a client 
in my business in, uh, with regards business administration. So I think those of you in the group that have multiple interests, develop them, share them, create a Facebook group um, that, where you can discuss and share your know-how and they can share theirs and, and you can contribute to their understanding and their life and go to events together and take photos and post them. All right? And as that develops into a place where you now can provide value to others, um, hey, you know, you're gonna be in a position to add people who have an interest in paying you money to this social group, keep it social, uh, don't have priced, priced out offers on that social group, but you move them into your client group for that specific service that you're providing. I have a client group, it's a small group, um, uh, and it's not as many people as I have in these other groups, you know, uh, that are in, uh, some of them over 140, uh, others are in, you know, 80, 50, etc. This group that I'm with you on, uh, working on, is, is broken 50 members. But even though uh, the smaller group reaches fewer people, those are your clients, those people have given you money, and they're gonna expect that you're gonna have offers, right? So keep your social group social, keep your interests broad and multiple. Uh, I'm a voter on the multiple interests, uh, exploring them, developing them to a point where now you can provide value to others. People like Russell Brunson says, right, that are one chapter behind. Uh, you can share with them what you know uh, that's ahead of them uh, and they'll be happy to, uh, uh, to exchange with you, to pay you for your know-how, uh, to get that knowledge that you have that can help them advance to the next chapter. All right, guys, so this is this episode. This is uh, uh, this uh, share. I hope this provides value to you. I wish you all the best on going through the courses, your lessons. Uh, please feel free to share. Uh, DM me. Uh, I'd love to have you on uh, one of my videos. I'd love to bring you to the camera and where you can share your stories, share what you're learning, your superpowers, and, and bring insight to our mastermind group so we can all build and expand uh, and build the companies and businesses that we want to. Uh, create the wealth and success that we're pursuing and the independence and freedom that brings. Also remember, I, always, uh, I think I'll end off these videos with this message, um, seek to become an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is somebody who's turned over all responsibilities for the organization to a kick-ass team and they can choose what they wanna do in that group. They can still do masterminds, they can still do public speaking, they can still serve the business, but ultimately the business is able to run itself without them even being there. I think that's a true entrepreneur and I hope that's what you strive to become too. Bye guys.